Hello everyone and welcome to Oxygen Not Included. Um I decided I really want to play this game. Pretty fun game. Uh I'm not sure if people have heard of it. It's um it's a survival base building game and it takes survival with like a grain of salt cuz you're not the one surviving. You're the one making it so your or your people can survive. They're called duplicates. But we'll get into that in a second. And there is mods for this game, but I currently have them all disabled because I don't want to play with mods. Not yet, at least. Uh, I've played this game um, a good bit. I have over 100 hours in it. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So there's two play styles you can do. There is no sweat when disaster strikes and it inevitably will take a deep breath and stay calm. You have ample time to find a solution. Uh, with no sweat, I believe they eat less, they breathe less oxygen, they are more immune to diseases and germs, and it makes it a bit easier. Survival is just basic, the base game. Uh, stay on your toes and one step ahead of this unforgiving world. One slip up could bring your colony crashing down. And there might be death in this, you know, but, uh, okay. So when you first start a game in the new version, uh, I don't know why you would be playing an older version, even though it's a bit easier, but in this version, we have a whole bunch of different destinations we could go to. If it's your first time starting the game, you never played this. I would highly recommend going here. This is a, this is the most basic world in fact this was the only world you could go or only asteroid you could go to in the original game uh you couldn't even choose anything this was you just went here and as you see here this world is stable and no unusual features this one it's oceana uh it's an ocean there's a lot of water uh Verdante. i think that's how you pronounce it there's going to be a lot of slime. There's going to be a lot of natural stuff. But if we go back to here, see, the big problem is a lot of this is salt water. Um, and if we go here, yeah, honestly, it says that there's it's reduced food and oxygen options, but that's not true. There's plenty of algae. Or there's plenty of ways to make oxygen, plenty of ways to get food. It's not too big of a concern. Uh, Rhyme. This is probably my favorite one. Um, it is very cold here. That is the upside and downside. So the upside is <laughs> your base will never get hot. Ever. The downside is uh, it might get really cold like really really cold uh i'm talking like negatives <laughs> but we'll get to that when we come to it if we get there uh arborea this one has a lot of trees um as you can see here, the survival chance is moderate, whereas here it's likely, likely, probable. This one's ideal. Um, I haven't really played on this one a whole lot. Uh, but it says there's a lack of metals. I definitely wouldn't recommend it your first time because you do need metal. Uh, Volcania. It's hot. It's hot as crap. That, that's pretty much it. <laughs> it's hot. See, volcano would be perfect if it wasn't for the volcanoes. There's going to be more lava. There's going to be higher temperatures. It's not going to be as easy as... Well, the frozen core, that seems interesting. Uh, the Badlands. Um, I think there's a lot of metal. But... And stone, but that's about it. There's not going to be a lot of algae... There's not going to be a lot of plants. It's going to be harder, which is why it's survival chance marginal. 
And then there are the two hardest ones. A radio. Uh, it's hot. There's less resources. Uh, so it's that's pretty much it. It's hot and there's less resources. Here, there it's not as hot. Uh, like with these, it really won't be hot. Um. But there's very low resources. But since we're just starting off, uh, I don't want to go here because it's basic. Uh, I'm thinking one of these three. Yeah, I don't want to go there. One of these three. Uh, you know what? Let me pull up a random number generator on my phone. Let's see here. Let's go to Google and type in random number generator. Max three. And we got three, which is rhyme. Okay, well, guess we'll go here. And I'll play around with this in a second. Uh, as you can see, there's buried oil and a miscalculated pod location. So with the miscalculated pod location, if you don't have that, then you'll be placed right in the center where it'll always be in the same spot but the map is still randomly generated so it's never going to be the same unless you have the seed um but essentially with the miscalculated pod location it you won't be in the center you'll be somewhere but if we hit this now we have mixed boulders and geodormant this one is really hard this is much harder because there's going to be small and large boulders that are just hard to dig and there's going to be less geysers and vents than usual um all right well let's see here slime molds large boulders again slime molds there'll be more slime large boulders they're harder to dig large glaciers uh, there's gonna be a lot of ice and this Planet's already pretty much covered in ice. And the subsurface ocean. It pretty much turns it into Oceana. Uh, let me just do this. For Magma channels could actually be pretty good. Um, I'm just kind of clicking this for a few minutes. Or for a few times. This could be good. Metal Ridge, subsurface ocean, and slime molds. Um, just kind of clicking, just, you know what, let's do this one. This one actually looks really good. A miscalculated pod location, that's good, in my opinion. Geodes, there's going to be random places on the asteroid where it's just good stuff. Geoactive, there's going to be more geysers and vents. And on this place, you kind of need it. Subsurface ocean, this is going to be a lot of ice. I'm just going to say that. There's going to be a lot of ice. So let's go ahead and start. And now it's going to load. So this game came out a long time ago. Not a long time ago. A couple years ago. And um, it was very basic. It didn't look as nice as it does now. Uh, and there was like far less to do. And it was much easier to make a self-sustaining base. Whereas now, it's a bit harder. So as you see here, um, it's a little bit different than how it was previously when you would select them. It would show you all of their stats, but now it tells you their best stats and what their interests are. It tells you their stats for those, I believe, yeah. And then we have down here, traits. So germ resistant, you'll be increased Storm resistance. Iron gut, you're immune to food poisoning. It's very good. And that's still storm resistant. But just, I believe every single dupe, because these are duplicants, have a downside. This duplicant has a teeny tiny piece, or a teeny piece sized bladder. Which means it has to go to the bathroom a lot. Uh, there is an upside to this. It uh, They go to the bathroom quick, quick, quicker. But they have to go to the bathroom more often. Uh, narcoleptic. 
It's cute. They just randomly take naps. Uh, mouth breather, they use way more oxygen. And we can go right here and hit reroll. You can see gourmet. Uh, gourmet will increase their cuisine, which is how quickly they prepare food. And their food morale bonus, decreased food morale bonus, which means... It can be at a lower quality and they will like it more than the regular do. But if we hit this arrow right here, uh, if you couldn't guess, I'm going to go through a lot of stuff real quick. Um, not real quick, but it's going to take a minute. Uh, so we have Builder, which they will have increased construction. Cooker, uh, just like the Gourmet. Uh, decorator, those are very good because... They, they decorate, and they help improve your base's decor rating. And we'll get to that eventually. Digger, they get a better, quicker diggers. <laughs> Pretty much it. Doctors, they have, um, I think it's better caretaking. I can't remember what it's called. Farmer uh, and rancher, they do increase, like, farming or animals. Operators, it's not... Operator is probably the least concerning one because it's just how quickly they operate stuff. And it's not everything, it's only certain machines. Uh, researchers are very good because it um, how or determines how quickly they could produce research and how much they uh, skill learning. So this is really good. Uh, Twinkle Toes is pretty good. Small Bladder is not the greatest, but... And we can hit reroll while selecting this, and we're like, oh, well, it's the exact same. Uh, squeamish, can't do doctoring, but... Um, have the quick learner, which is a phenomenal trait. Uh, certain traits are better than others. Uh, we'll reroll this a couple more times. Uh, noodle arms is not good, because they have uh, less strength, which is less carrying speed, or capacity... And less tidying speed. Uh, no taste is pretty good because it's like the decreased food or increased food morale bonus. Um, they'll receive more morale from lower quality foods. Squeamish can't do doctoring error. Errands, whatever. Uh, I, I like this one. I like Lindsay. So we'll go with her. Here's plus three science. And Diver's Lungs. Diver's Lungs is probably arguably the best because they consume less oxygen. That's phenomenal. A Quick Learner, I think, is also one of the best. But now we have a science person, so let's also get a someone who can dig. Iron Gut, I think we already went over that. They don't get food poisoning. Um, let me just go around till we get something that's not plus one. Um... This one's pretty good. Uh, so, you'll have plus 7 digging speed. Or 175% digging speed, which will be much faster than these guys. And they don't want to eat... Or they don't care if they eat lower quality food. And then, for the last one, let's get a decorator. And for this one, I will be a little bit pickier, because... Creativity... It, wow. Well, no, it was almost really good, and then bottomless stomach. They eat 500 more calories. Um, you don't really want something that's allergenic, because that means they can't really be around flowers. Um, let's see. You could be pretty good. Yeah, I think you'll be pretty good. Quick learner, squeamish, can't do doctoring errands, same as... Uh, Bert. Oh yeah, their names are up here. Uh, Lindsay, Bert, and Gossman. Um, so I have plus three creativity and uh, great digging, which is perfect. I love having more diggers. And then down here, you'll see the stress reaction. If the stress gets to a very high percentage, I want to say probably 80%, maybe 100. I'm not entirely sure. They will cry. Uh, Bert. They will eat a lot. 
and Gossman, they will start throwing up. Um, Overjoyed, Sticker Bomb, and Sticker Bomb, they will just throw stickers. That's pretty much it. And Sparkle Streaker, Shells of Happy Sparkles. Okay, we'll do that. And then we can name the colony, we can reroll the name. Asteroid, eh. Committee, eh. The L Space Rock, maybe. Inspiring Utopia, meh. Invisible Gang, Abode. Galaxy, the Lunar Shelter, Abode again, System, Viral Shelter, Facility, the Cool Cesspool, Outrageous Hovel, Acropolis, the Immune Crew, the Inspiring Comment, Crash Pad, Abode again, wow, the Great Homestead, Luxury Home, Settlement, Invisible Beyond, the Ramshackle Abyss, let's do that, the Ramshackle Abyss. So now 17 or 16 something over 15 minutes in we will finally embark so when you start if you didn't choose the same asteroid as me well this is really good uh there's not a lot of algae nearby but that's okay okay so we'll pause real quick if you press space you can pause and if you press tab you can speed up um you can select here, or sorry, you can't select here. You can go here and hit dig, or press the G, oops, sorry. Press the G button, you can dig, just like that. And they will start going over here to start digging. You can see one of them is much quicker. Let's go over here. They are at 4% stress, apparently, I don't know. Um, you see our population's three, the stress levels, the, this is their germ levels, this is how much food we have, and this is the cycle, which is how many days we've been alive, and this is the clock, as you see it kind of moves, it's hard to see, but we'll go ahead and start digging out these four spots, and one thing that I do like to do early on, I think we're going to go to this water because it's lower and it's more out of the way. Um, we are going to dig a bit. Uh, as you see here, there's oxygen. And this oxygen is made from this oxalite. It'll constantly be admitting as much, as much oxygen as it can until it gets too full of oxygen. Uh, if you see this little dark area, that is carbon dioxide. Um, and, you know... Everyone knows what carbon dioxide is. You can't breathe it in. That's what you breathe out. Um, there's a lot of water. But that's really good. All right. So another thing. Remember how I said it was really cold here? Well, over here, it's about 70. We go over here. Like, right over here, it's already 20 degrees. Uh, let's go about talking about all of these. We have the vitals. I don't use this page a whole lot because you don't really need to. Uh, consumables, this will say what they can and can't eat. Schedule, this is their daily schedule. We'll get onto it more later. Priorities. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. So life support or attacking. It will just be if they attack wild critters. Life support. It will be maintaining certain um, machines. I like to set that to high and then toggling enabling or disabling buildings i think that's always should be very high uh decorating i always disallow it because if someone with low decorating skills does something then it's not going to turn pretty it's going to be really ugly and then we have researching as you see we have both of these are really good who has um I don't remember who has what. Can we go here and see? Okay, here we go. Let me go here real quick to... No, uh, not skills. Bio? Yeah, here we go. I think it's you? All right, let's go to skills. Okay, so Lindsay likes to research. So we will have Lindsay be researching more. And we're not really going to change this a whole lot. We have 
three duplicates. We just started off. We're not going to worry about that a whole lot. We do need to get algae, though. Not a lot of algae. All right. So if we press here, we can see the oxygen. Uh, very breathable, breathable, barely breathable, and unbreathable. Carbon dioxide is unbreathable. Other gases are unbreathable. Uh, we don't don't see any anywhere else. Um, and oxygen, you know, that's breathable. We have... Oh, I never go, went over skills. I kind of showed it, but... Uh, these are all your skills. These will be, like, um, their jobs. That's what it used to be called. We'll get into this more in a couple cycles when we actually get skill points. But uh, we have these... This button over here, which is oxygen, like I just said. We have the power. Again, we'll get to it in probably two, three cycles. This is the temperature. This is very important. So as you can see here, it's cold. It's really cold. Except for over here. Over here is nice and comfortable. Um, this will be where we pretty much have to farm. And we will get into farming very soon. Uh, if you see right here, it's absolute zero because there's a vacuum. There's no oxygen or anything in there. Uh, we have the materials overlay. It kind of just shows you what's what. It's not super helpful. This is the light overlay. Shows you their lights. Plumbing. We'll get into that later. Ventilation. Again, we'll get into that later. Decor. The decor is super important. We'll get more into it later, but uh, you don't really have to worry about that right now. Germ overlay. So, uh, Rhyme is a sterile asteroid. <laughs> I don't really have to worry about random germs. I only have to worry about germs being where they are and what they do. Like if they eat something. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. Um, oh, huh, that's interesting. I never noticed this. Zombie spores? I don't know what the zombie spores are a uh, food poisoning that's a big one that you'll see uh, if you're not playing on rhyme you will most likely already see slime lung these two aren't super important uh if duplicates get them no big deal a uh, farming as you can see over here those two things are growing these are the only two things nearby that are no and those that are growing and we have the room overlay uh there's nothing in there, so there's nothing. Since they already dug and they have some sandstone lying around, that means there's more materials. So, let's go ahead and get started building. Um, it's really good to keep three spaces open for when you tunnel. Uh, and the first thing you want to build, it's very important. <laughs> you want to build a bathroom. So let us, uh, I don't really want to put the bathroom over here. We do need to go over here though. Bathroom should be the first thing you do. Let's go here, I think. Then we'll dig out that, that. I don't really want to dig out that carbon dioxide. You know what, since we are digging out that carbon dioxide, let's do this. Let's dig out that so that the carbon dioxide can flow down. Um, we have algae over here, we will need to get and over here. But right now, let us, I'm gonna build the bathroom kind of this way. Here we go. And I like to build my rooms like four high. I feel like that's just the perfect amount. We will do this. We will go this way. I think that's probably good. Uh, I like building two. We don't have <laughs> enough. Okay, there we go. Let's see. We don't have enough sandstone. We're going to let that go. And then let's. We can change the priority on things, and this will be how quickly they do this stuff. So they will be digging out that. 
And first things first with the bathroom, I like to also uh, cover it. And I think covering stuff is very important. Can't cover that right now. We're out of sandstone, guys. I need to build one more. No, oh, no, I need one more. All right, and we will need to make a wash basin. We will put the wash basin right here so we have plenty of room. Uh, I need to dig that out. Alright, let's press tab to speed up a little bit, because it's going really slow. Um, Alright, and now we have an outhouse. That's perfect. Now they have a bathroom. So now we need to get over here. So, let's see here. Oh, this is also like Minecraft, um, sand falls, snow falls, stuff like that. Let us go over here. Eventually we'll make more ladders going up and down. Kind of doing that, so it's easier. Uh, we're gonna go over here and get this water because it's really out of the way all right and you may think that we're kind of low in resources now but we we aren't i'm just gonna put this right uh yeah probably right no let's put it inwards a little bit probably right here Okay, and we'll dig that out, that out, and then let's dig that out. And do this. I'm gonna leave a little spot right here for, we go over here, we can go to plumbing, there's the bottle emptier. We wanna empty bottles in here. And as you can see here, this is all good. We're going to set the direction to left, which means every time they move left, they will uh, wash their hands if there's water in it. We're also going to dig out this algae. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with this water that's right here. It's very nerve wracking to know that there's just sand in between, so it might eventually leak. Go ahead and dig this out. Oops. Accidentally put the wrong thing there. Um, yeah, that's it's going all right so far. Are you stuck? He's stuck. Okay, there we go. He's good now. So now we're on the downtime part. This is where they eat and they relax after a long day's work. I, he was stuck up there, so he couldn't. It's all right now. Uh, I'm sure I'll edit this a good bit where... Um, As you can see, there's some carbon dioxide here, so kind of breathing. Uh, I left this space really big so that oxygen can flow. Because, like, if we go over here and hit oxygen, you can see that's how much oxygen we have. Not a lot. 
So once they build this, I think I'm going to set the farm right here because it's close to the water. Um, yeah, and then let's build our duplicates some homes once they finish up all of this. And we're doing this so that carbon dioxide can flow down here since it's heavier. Um, gases do follow how they do in real life. Uh, carbon dioxide is heavier than oxygen, which means uh, carbon dioxide will fall down. It's not heavier, but y you know what I mean. <laughs> it's less dense. Or it's denser than oxygen. Um, oh, here we go. Chlorine. Uh, I believe... <sighs> I don't know how chlorine works. <laughs> I don't know if it floats or sinks. I think it floats. It goes up higher than oxygen. Because hydrogen goes up higher than oxygen. Um, and you may be wondering, how do we get more oxygen besides this? Well, as you can see, uh, underneath consumable ore right there, it says 103 and going down. That's how much kilograms of oxygen it has left inside of it. So, we will need to make a way to get more oxygen. And, in order to do that, we will need power. So, let's go ahead and make this all a priority of six, so that they continue doing that. I'm not too concerned if sand falls into the water, because... It'll raise the water levels. And I am more than okay with that. Um, yeah, so we will need to make power. If we go under... This was our base tab that had our ladders, pneumatic doors, and storage bins. Oh, Lindsay! Took a narcoleptic nap! <laughs> right back into action. Uh, let's go ahead and continue expanding this way a bit. Uh, sand is very important. I wouldn't say it's as important as algae, but actually, you know what? No, it's definitely as important as algae. And algae is super important. Uh, from algae down here, we can get... Uh, I'm never worried about going down. I'm always worried about going up, because if you go up, your oxygen goes up. Yeah, that's not fun. So a tip that you can do is, if you open up your priority tab, um, sometimes you'll see just like a random number go up. And you definitely want to go to that number because it's a geyser or your randomly sand number. You can also do your temperature, but it's harder to do here. Uh, if it looks like this in the middle of nowhere, chances are you have found a geyser. It'll usually just be four blocks. It'll look kind of like coal, but it'll be darker. Oh, they've finished all of it. Guys, you have all of this that you can do. Okay, well, let us, let's make two things. Um, first off, dig that and this hatch attack. And, you know what, let's, you know what, um, let's deconstruct that, the towel back here. We'll have ladders. Woo, not that. We'll do that. Oh, yeah, you can press C to cancel stuff. Um, but now, let's build some batteries. I'm going to build my batteries over here. Um, probably three. And then wires. We need wires. Wires are made from a metal. Typically, early on, it'll be either aluminum or copper. Not bad. Oh. Uh, if a hatch is buried, it won't be able to attack back, so it's easy food. Oh yeah, this food thing, we're going to turn it up to six. I recommend you do as well, especially early on. 
It's so that they... <laughs> Muckert. So that the food goes to a, an air, like a storage. They're about to go to downtime. So while they're doing that, I'm going to build this research station. We're going to put it... Um, right... Here. Yeah. And we are going to put these gener the manual generators right there. Uh, we have tons of copper that we can dig. Uh, far less algae than I would like. But we're close to this area that has aluminum if we do need more metals. I don't think we will for the time being because we have a lot of coal and copper. And coal is very important. Uh, probably in a few cycles. But we need to research it first. Uh, I recommend you do this. Early on, at least. It's easy power. And there's two, which means the batteries will get charged up very quickly. And they have sore bags because they don't have beds. While we are here, let's go ahead and... Do this. I want to put a door here. And we need to dig this. Oh, there's a hatch in here. I'm not too concerned about that. Hatch can't leave. In there, good. And uh, another thing, each episode will probably be about an hour or so long. Uh, I'm not going to connect wires to the manual generators yet. Not until after they have built all of the wires and actually built the batteries. Because if they're connected to wires, they will just constantly run and nothing will happen. So if we see here, uh, whenever this or whenever the batteries get to 50%, they will come over here or that'll tell them, oh, hey. You guys need to come back over here and start recharging these. Um, as you can see, the wires do not take long to build at all. The batteries, on the other hand, take a good minute. Since those are almost done, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, they're getting some copper now. Um, the next on the list, let us... Oh yeah, here we go. See? They're actually uh, building it now. They're charging up... They're building it. They're charging up the batteries. That's what I meant to say. Uh, we need to... Let's hand out. All right, so. Let's do this. I think. All right. There. Okay, yeah, so we can put five in there. That's good. Oh, uh, let's also dig that out. And then we have this pneumatic door, just a default door. Uh, it lets air flow through it, which is very good. Oh, uh, every three cycles, this will print out something. So if we hit choose dupe or choose blueprint, as you see, we can get some more dupes. Uh, however, I'm not going to get a dupe at this time. Uh, none of these strike me as great besides his diver's lungs, but he has noodle arms, which sucks. So I'm just going to hit reject all. Uh, I don't want salt water because I don't have a means of making it regular water. Uh, plus, we need to do something about... Wow, well, well <laughs> we have a lot of food right now. But we can go ahead and start researching. 
the researching is super important and there's tons of things you can do in the beginning i recommend starting with this one it's quick and you can get it'll let you start planting food and you'll see in a little bit why that's super important um but i also do want to actually start well we need to let them finish what they're doing first there's just two of them we'll probably get the next dupe that comes we're gonna build down there because we're going to make another tank over here and this will be for polluted water so these will not oh and uh polluted dirt so real quick i'm going to let me check the temperature all right so over here it's about 60 so that's fine um we need a storage area and I don't want to make it too far, so I think I do want to put it here. And maybe we'll put the food underneath, like right here. Or maybe we'll make this the storage area. Yeah, we'll make this the storage area. We'll go out to probably right... Well, I guess we'll go right there. Uh, we don't need to make a tank quite yet. Uh, but we do need to start putting storage bins. I'm going to put two right there. And we'll put more here once they dig up these plants. Uh, this bar right here tells you how close they are to finishing the research. Uh, as you can see right here, she's at 7 points out of 15 points. So she's getting close. Uh, if we look at the research tab, as you can see... There's a lot. Um, stuff doesn't, I don't believe stuff gets added as you research. So like once you get here, nothing else will go here. Um, but the next thing we'll do is go here. Uh, this will give us the advanced research and that's a necessity. Pretty early. Uh, you'll see why we want... Actually, I can show you why we want um, storage bins. You see this decor, especially in here? If total decor, negative 153. 120 is the max. But you see all of that debris? That makes it bad. All of this random debris makes your decor really bad. And probably off camera... After we set up food so we can survive for a bit, I'll have them just sweep up everything to make them look or seem happier. Oh, research is complete. Cool. So we go over here, as you can see. Uh, refinement, compost. Uh, yeah, it reduces uh, polluted dirt. We have planter box, which we will go ahead. And I guess we need to make a lot. Put those right there. Another thing we can do is make another ration box. We don't need to do that right now. And an algae terrarium. Oh, we need to make this. Okay, so this is <laughs> this is oxygen. We're gonna put this. We're gonna cancel that one. And we are going to put the oxygen there. And that will need wires. And I like running the wires through the ladders. Besides having them in the open. And these, uh, I'm not going to have them sweep algae yet, but eventually I will. We're not going to research anything else right now. But another thing we can also make is an algae terrarium. Sorry if I'm going fast, you kind of got to go fast in this. Algae terrariums produce oxygen and remove some carbon dioxide. So we will put this, I, I kind of want to put it over somewhere on this side. Maybe I'll put one right here for, oh no, right there. 
Uh, yeah, I'll put it right there. We're going to put that up to seven so that they're more often going to do that. Uh, we don't have a lot of algae. But now, <laughs> as you can see, our oxygen was getting kind of low. Uh, we're now producing oxygen, which is fantastic. Like, as you can see, they can barely breathe in here. But we can plant some mealwood. Because all it needs is any of these atmospheres. And the temperature needs to be between 50 and 86, which is mostly above 60. And yeah, it just needs dirt. So we're going to plant that with a priority of seven. And I'm going to copy that to all of this. I'm not going to be able to do more than two for right now, but that's still a good start. Um, oh, another thing. So throughout the series, if you comment, um, I will be choosing random people in the comments to become random people in the comments or subscribers to become the duplicants. we have insufficient oxygen generation uh, but our oxygens are going it's going up but anyways we need to uh build. i think we need to build this can we i'm gonna look and see if we can uh da, da, i'm looking i need to go actually we're going to start researching that uh and that's for a very specific reason Um, sorry, my phone went off. <laughs> Just sleep right there. Okay, Gossman. Um, I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Uh, the thing I just researched, it's about gas. So, it'll help with, uh, oxygen flow, which we need. We will be able to make, like, as you can see here, it's starting to get better, but it's taking time. We're going to create airflow tiles, which allows oxygen and get other gases to flow easier through these tiles because uh, gas can flow through these but very difficult um we need a guys thank you <laughs> you know what i'm gonna make that a priority of six for whenever they finish this. And we're going to go ahead and put another cot there. And we're going to get another guy soon. Alright. And once we get skills... Um, Skills are better than jobs, I think, because I can't remember if jobs required. Uh, we need algae like bad. Go ahead and dig that up. Ooh, we have some a lot of algae over here, so I might go and do that. Yeah, let's. I think that's good. Yeah, that should be good. Oh, and we'll be able to get uh, more seeds, which is good. We're just going to dig all of that up. We're going to put a ladder... Right there. So let us get more algae, which is super important. And we'll get more seeds, which is phenomenal. I think we'll get one, two seeds. Okay, so that's not fantastic, but it's 
Better than nothing. Now that we have ventilation, we can actually create a gas pump. Uh, we don't need to do anything with a gas pump for a long time. Not a long time, but it's going to be a while before we do anything with the gas pump. And hopefully, since we're going this way, we'll be able to find more stuff. Uh, like a geyser or a vent. Uh, something. Uh, I'm not entirely sure yet. But... Hopefully. Hopefully. Awesome. So now, uh, even though all the carbon dioxide is going down here, this little guy will be helping disperse it. I don't really have a need. I don't ever really see a need to use more than one because you can use carbon dioxide for a lot of stuff in the future. Um, once we break in over here, there's going to be more oxygen. So all they got to do is just get through here. You know what? Let's dig that. I'm not gonna have him dig this yet. But getting this algae right here will be very good. Um, I think at the end of the next cycle, I'll call it the, an episode. I'm gonna edit this down a bit. Um, so I might cut some stuff out. Might leave some, might leave most of it in. I'll probably leave most of it in, that way you guys can learn. Uh, we have this water here, and I think I'm gonna drain it to go down here. Because this is kind of in the way, because we can build a lot of stuff here. And I might just want to make this a tank. Or polluted water which will be kind of important soon especially with this so yeah i think we need to do that next we're gonna have them do those two things <laughs> do that stuff Um, let's see. Okay, so in about half a cycle, we'll get another dupe. Uh, yeah, it's going... So far, it's going pretty good. Um... Yeah, now all we gotta do is just wait. Oh, the research is done. Cool. So now we have the manual airlock, which will block about as much uh, airflow between areas about as best as it can. And the airflow tiles. We are going to put some right here, right here. Put one right here. Here. Well, I didn't want to do that. But let's cancel you an airflow right there there and that'll kind of help with the airflow situation going on oh we got colony achievement i i'll show off the colony achievements later we have a liquid valve we um can't do anything with that right now and a gas valve and can't do anything with that right now Oh, okay, cool. We are finally building the cots. That's super important. We're going to change that to six. And let's also change that one to six and that one to six. The other ones will get made as they come. As you can see, the airflow tiles take a while to build. Who's the fastest builder? I think Gossman is. Um, yeah, Gossman, by one point. Oh, Lindsay fell asleep. 
Okay. So we're gonna have him build this. That's your bed, Gossman. Uh, there is one trait that's really bad. Oh, in less than a minute, we'll get a new Oop. Uh It's called Loud Sleeper. Uh, you pretty much have to put them in a room by themselves. Terrible. Terrible one. But, oh well. All right. We'll make all of that priority six. And we can choose a new dupe. Um, this, you could be pretty good, Marie or Camille. You know what, let's bring you in. All right. Now we have four. Um, All right, so let's go to skills now, now that everyone has a new skill point. So Lindsay, you are our researcher. You will now become, or get the advanced research skill. And they get a morale bonus. This is their morale, this is their uh, need, or their needs. And we get a, we get a cool little weird hat. All right, and then Bert. Bert likes digging, which is good because we need a digger. This will let them. Sorry, advanced research will let us do advanced research. Our digging will let us dig um, harder material. Gossman, you are our artist, so we will give you art fundamentals. We'll eventually give them digging as well, and then Camille. Uh, so Camille just joined us, so they only have one morale. They're going to have two. But we're going to give them this. That way they can tidy better. Proved carrying. As you can see, they will... Oh, they don't need to do that. They'll eventually just go over here. They get a little skill. And they put a cool hat on. And they're so happy. Yeah, so now they're actually going to be, some of them are going to be digging a bit faster. And the oxygen has now flown in here, which is fantastic. I really want them to dig up this spot over here, because it's algae and we get seeds. Oh, but they're in downtime. Alright, so it's, oh. You don't have to assign them. Uh, if you don't assign anyone to a cot, like if it's not assigned, they will automatically go to that and assign it themselves. Um, we can go over here and we can see how much of what we have. Like if we hit organic, we have 3.8 kilograms. Sorry, 3,000 kilograms of algae. I don't know why I said 3.8. Um, it goes by kilograms and then tons, as you see here. We have 12.9 tons of copper ore. I believe it's tons, it should be. Uh, copper is super important. You think 12.9 is a lot, it is not. Oh, we have four! Oh, that's awesome. As soon as that says seven, when this lag spike hits. There we go. All right, that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed, if you did, I'm going to go ahead and save. Uh, if you all enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Uh, again, comment so that you, know, you can become part of the series. I will add you to the series. We now have four, which means we have four slots available. Um, I don't know how common or how often I will be uploading, but it'll be decently often. Hopefully. Um, and yeah. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.